This video is part four of advanced spreadsheet development tutorials and what we've been doing with this spreadsheet is learning how to um, make a spreadsheet that a feedlot manager could use where they would input both the input price and the output price and our spreadsheet would tell them the profit maximizing days on feed and in some previous tutorials we looked at data validation, cell protection, running solver, that kind of thing. And in the last one we said that well one way of solving this so that when the input price is 1.2 and the output price is 0.75 to find the optimal days on free on feed we run solver meaning we go to data and then solver we make the target sale profits because we're maximizing profits by changing sale days on feed because we're choosing days on feed to maximize profits. We click solve and it tells us it's found a solution and to keep the solver solution. But if we're going to give the spreadsheet to a feedlot manager, we don't want to make that manager have to learn solver to be able to use the spreadsheet meaning if, if you give this to a feedlot manager and say okay here's a spreadsheet but you have to learn Microsoft solver to use this uh, they may be sorely disappointed so what we're going to do is create a macro that runs solver for them and a macro is is just like a way of programming in Excel without knowing any program language we basically record a macro where whatever we do on the screen Excel records and puts in the code for us to, to show you what we're going to do, let's just go ahead and record a macro. I'm going to go to Developer, Record Macro. We'll let it be called Macro 2. You can name it anything else you want. I'm going to press OK. And you might notice that down in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a little square. And if you put your cursor over, it says a macro was currently running click to stop recording so you could click there to stop recording or you could go to the top left to click stop recording well all we want to do is to say run solver so we're just going to do what we just did we're going to go to data solver set target sale to profits by changing sales days on feed make sure it says maximize click solver Okay, that's what we wanted Excel to record, and so we're going to stop recording our macro. I'm going to click Stop Recording up here. Now we have our macro, and to show you what it does, I'm going to change these prices, and we're going to run Solver again. But now all I have to do, I can come over here to Macros, select Macro 2, run, up, oh, ran into an error. Now we did this on purpose because this is something you're going to run into. And the problem is we're using Solver, but this macro was recorded in something called Visual Basic. So we have to tell Visual Basic that we're using Solver here because it basically doesn't recognize this thing we call Solver. And all we have to do is first we have to stop debugging, and I do that by just clicking the square. And by the way, this VBA, this is not something you need to learn a lot about. Um, what I'm showing you here is something I learned just by running Google searches on problems I ran into. And what I learned along the way is that you have to go to Tools, References, and tell Visual Basic that you're using Solver. You click OK. Come over here to return to the Excel spreadsheet. Now let's see if we can run the macro again. Okay, great. It did let us run it. So it went through the steps. You saw it flash by real quick. And it basically went through the steps of running Solver for us. But now what we want to do, we want to click create a button that the Feedlot Manager can click that will run the macro form. And to do that, we're going to go to Developer, Insert, Form Controls. There's a lot of different things down here like drop down menus. I'm going to choose Button. It lets me just draw a button here, and we have to sign a button and name, uh, or sign it a macro, and we recorded macro 2 for this, so I'm selecting OK. I'll 
give this button a good name. Compute days on feed, so it's obvious what the button does. And now, when the prices have changed, and the feedlot manager needs to know the optimal days on feed, they can just come down here, click this button, and solve a runs. And you can see it computed a new days on feed. Now, notice we when we run this, we get the style log box again. This is not something the manager should see. When they click that button, it should just compute days on feed. It shouldn't bring up this box because when the manager looks at this box, she's not going to know what that is. The whole purpose of doing this was so that she didn't need to learn Solver. So she, to fix this problem with the dialog box, um, there's one other thing we have to do. And this is not something I learned because I know Visual Basic. I just Googled my problem that I wanted this dialog box to go away. And it, it showed me how to do it. And what it told me to do was to go back to Visual Basic. And where it says Solve or Solve, I just have to put True. I save it and then when I come back here and click the button it works so suppose that the input price goes up to 1.5 output price 0.9 the manager can just click compute days on feed and it clicks a new days on feed and the manager doesn't have to know anything about solver